Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Keisha, also known as, as K with the Cash. I'm here with another video. I hope everybody's Thursday, or shall I say Friday Eve, has been amazing. I don't know about you guys, but I am so ready for Friday and to be able to start my weekend because, again, it's been a busy week for me, and I'm sure a lot of you all have been having a busy week and just trying to get your minds together, prepare for the holidays, and all of that jazz. So, Anyway, I hope y'all have been doing well. I'm here with another video just to kind of go over my December spending plan. I know we're already seven days into the month, but hey, it's still early and better late than never. I also want to go ahead and track my no spend days. I've been challenging myself to like limit my spending um, and basically kind of be able to transfer quite a bit of money from my cash wallet to my challenges when, I, when it's time for me to cash stuff again. Um, this is the midway point from my last, hold on, my last paycheck of November rolling into December. Um, and I actually get paid next week. So we're kind of at that midway point for me to go ahead and look into my cash wallet. And just to see, you know, that what I'm dealing with and what I have left over. I really hadn't been doing any spending. I have already had quite a few uh, no spend days thus far, which I'm very happy about because my goal has been to roll as much money as I can out of my cash wallet and dedicate it to my challenges. Therefore, I can help meet and expedite some of my um, savings goals and also get down that personal loan. I, I told you guys I was dealing with. Um, so that's my goal right now. I do have my cash wallet with me. And like I said, we'll be going through this just so I can show you guys what's left in my cash envelope and show you guys how well I've been doing because I have not been overdoing it. So I'm really proud to say that. So Anyway, we'll go ahead and get started. So this is my um, budget planner. Um, this is the Go Girl plan uh, planner. Yeah, the Go Girl planner. And I love this planner, guys. OMG, I love it. I love it. I love it. I am so, it's very efficient. Um, so it does come with your, um, well, we'll I'll go from December. So it has like kind of like, you know, your receipt folders and it has like little motivational um, quotes inside of it. And then once you open it up for the month, everything is like it's non-dated. So you can go ahead and fill in your calendar as you wish. It has your to-do list. It has like monthly goals. You can track your bills and expenses. It also has your savings account, your income. And what I do is I typically do my income totals and then I also put what I have in my savings accounts. I have some certificate of deposits and then I also have a money market account. So I like to go ahead and track my uh, dividends and my, you know, the uh, interest that I'm building on those accounts. And I try to see how it's, you know, growing each month. So that's what I keep track of, like over here in the savings block. And then also, like I said, I put my income there just to know what I have coming in. Um, is also along with putting my bills, um, on the date that they come out. I also list them here just as a running record and also the total. So I know exactly what I'm spending. And then I just cross them off and check them off as they're paid. So that's how I use this. Um, they also have like a monthly budget. I really don't use this because everything is done in my cash wallet. When I, um, a lot, my envelopes, you can use it, but, uh, it's just kind of one of those things. I mean, I might go ahead and start putting in here, but the only ones I'll really probably use is entertainment, maybe transportation to track my gas, the personal for beauty, and maybe the food. But the rest of the totals, you know, the sections rather, I, you know, I don't have a use for them right now, especially because like all of my bills are directly debited from my um, bank account. So there's that. Um, so I don't know. We'll probably save that for another time, but I, I may look into actually using this monthly budget, but it's just one of those things where, okay, you know, if I put $40 in my envelope and I use 20, the difference is a deduction of 20 and then just kind of just show how I'm using it. But like I said, I uh, allocate everything to challenges anyway, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> then we have the expense tracker. You guys know how that works. Um, where you're tracking your expenses. There's four total pages. And I think that's quite a bit, which helps. I mean, depending on your spending record, 
that works. Now, I will say I don't use the spending tracker from the money I have already allocated in my cash envelopes. I only use the sp expense tracker for like costs that I put on my debit or maybe my credit card to earn points or something that just hasn't been allocated in my cash wallets, if that makes sense. So that's how I use my expense tracker. Um, and it's pretty much straight to the point. I love that part about it. Um, and then at the end of the month, you have like a monthly budget review where you can just kind of see where your money is going, how your savings may have grown. Um, did you complete your goals? Did you meet your budget? Just kind of like an overall assessment of your monthly uh, spending habits. So that's what's going on with this planner. I, it, it's really it's really cool. I got it from Amazon and it's the Go Girl um, budget planner. So, and I think it's cool. I mean, I, I'm very into my planners and I'm very strategic when I purchase them. So this one is a go for me. So anyway, y'all, I don't want to keep rambling too long. Um, so starting with, uh, November 1st that I did have a no spend day. So I was very happy about that. Um, cause I, I'm really challenging myself to do better. I have some, uh, nice little savings goals I'm trying to achieve and I've been doing pretty good I, I feel like I'm gonna get there so um yeah it looks like the first through the sixth I didn't spend anything I did do a little spending today and it was actually a deposit to get my hair braided because I'm going out of town the end of this month and I just don't want to have to worry about my hair so that's what I spent on that um so we won't be putting a no spin on uh, the 7th for today. But I will be going ahead and putting my no spin for uh, December 1st through 6th. And so that's pretty good. I will gladly take that. And I don't know about y'all. I feel like these little cricket tweezers come in handy when it comes to these stickers, y'all. Like... Because with my nails and trying to grab stickers sometimes, it's just, it can be a true butt. And I'm like, nobody has time to be fighting for with stickers. I mean, come on. It's too much going on in the world to be fighting with a sticker. So, um, so that wraps up my no spend days so far. So I have six total no spend days. So we are going to see how good I can do, um... For the rest of the month, like I'm aiming for, I mean, I, granted, I know there's going to be some days where I do have to go ahead and spend, but six days and we're only on the 7th of December, I'll take it. So that takes care of my no spend days. I actually need to get some more uh, no spend stickers, you guys. Like, where do you guys get your no spend stickers from? Like, I have these, which I really like because you can put them on each individual date. But then there's also these ones right here. I don't know if I'm a fan of these right here because you're only checking off the date. But to me, it really doesn't tell me anything. Um, or the day, rather. And then I have these right here, like with the little fox. Um, and it just says no spin challenge. And I can use those, but come on. Like, that is not even enough. Like, I need, like, pure no spin stickers, like an abundance <laughs> so tell me where you guys are getting those no spin challenges from because well those no spin stickers because I need more um and especially because I be I'm tracking so much of my budget you know and I just really want to be able to um identify those days so I know how well I'm doing so y'all let me know anyway that wraps up my no spin and kind of what I got going on, I'm planning to do a cash stuffing um, only on the paydays. So next week, um, my check typically comes before the 14th. So it'll be sometime next week, like the week of the 11th and also the week of, well, Christmas week rather. So I will be doing a cash stuffing then um, and then that'll be stay, uh stuffing my sinking funds and also my cash wallet per usual so that's what's going on there so let's go ahead and move on to my cash wallet and see how i am doing so far for the two weeks before my next paycheck get this out the way y'all i'm like that is a big planner like i love it but it, it is it has some weight on it <laughs> 
All right, so we started out with my Starbucks. Now, I did put $10 in Starbucks. And like I said, I have some money on my um, Starbucks gift card. So that $10 is still in there. And then gas and patrol. I have not been to the gas station yet. I do work from home. So I am saving a lot of money when it comes to gas. I don't have to commute anymore. Um, I did uh, allocate $50 and that $50 is still in my wallet. For personal essentials, that got $40 and that is still in there. Now, I will say that when I got my nails done, they were a little more than... Um, this $40, so I did use my card and I ended up paying my card back off. So this is more than likely I'll probably go to my challenges um, since I did use that money and just kind of put it in there as an IOU or a pay me back rather. Uh, retail therapy, that got $40. That $40 is still in there. I'm telling y'all, like, I am doing good over here, okay? I am doing very, very, very good. Entertainment, that got $20. $20 is still in the entertainment envelope. Now, um, I did go out to eat. I went to Burger King, y'all. And my little measly meal cost me $11. Why? It's Burger King. It is Burger King. It was like 11 No, I take that back. It was like $10 and some change. But of course, I just took $11 out of here. So now I am stuck left with... 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29 dollars. That's what's left in my dining out. I just don't know why fast food is getting so expensive, but honey, I am saving all the money in the world cooking at home, knowing that I will be satisfied and I know what's going on with my food. And lastly, my miscellaneous envelope that actually had ten dollars i took a five dollar bill out yesterday for a tip because i went to a christmas party with my family and they had like an open cash bar and i left them a five dollar tip so that's where that other five dollars went to so yeah y'all that actually wraps up my cash wallet and what I have going on today. That's the main thing I wanted to go over and just do like a check-in with myself. I would always recommend just checking in, you know, seeing how your spending is going and therefore you can help stay on track. And like I said, um, even if you have to use a planner to monitor your no spend days or even just writing, use an expense tracker to monitor, you know, where your money is going. I think all that is so effective in helping you reach your financial goals. So yeah, y'all, that is all I have. Thank you for watching and you guys have an awesome rest of your Thursday and an amazing weekend. Bye-bye.